Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I am going to be showing you all of my blank journals, and I did make a journal collection at the beginning of this year, 2019, but I have accumulated a lot of blank journals since then, so I thought that I would make a video showing you guys my entire collection of every single blank journal I have from newest, or I mean oldest to newest. So you guys have seen this before if you watched my old journal collection. This is my oldest blank journal. I got this in 2007 from my old neighbors and it's a mead journal and it's just the lines are super faded and I kind of like that so they won't be like in the way I guess so that's this one really cute if this is like raised and glittery I don't know just kind of a cute one this is one my mother gave me um, because she got it for like a my father got it like a whole basket for her and this was in it and she didn't want it so I took it and it has like silver sides and that was like my favorite thing about it and that's why I really wanted it so that's this one <clears throat> next we have this which was a composition book and what I did is I took some paper coffee stained it put some washi tape on the side and then I made this little resin heart with flowers in it and it came out okay pretty interesting for my first DIY but uh, it's just a regular composition book it's nothing spectacular or anything next we have this one which is a DIY journal and I made this myself obviously that's what DIY means and uh, I have a video on DIY journals if you want to go check that out, um, but yeah, I made this. It's like 280 pages, I want to say, so it is going to be a big one. <laughs> Next we have this one. This is another DIY journal. Oh, it's upside down. Uh, this is another one, and it is all white pages, blank white pages, and I made this myself. and. Yeah, I like this one a lot, and I can't wait to use this one. I don't know when I'll use it. It'll probably take me a while to use this because I have so many journals. But, uh, yeah, that's this. Next, we have this one, which, if you've seen my white, uh, sort of smoky-looking journal with the uh, fire the campfire on it. This is the other one that I was going to get. This is what my boyfriend told me that I should get, but he sent that message too late. And so I didn't get it, but I got it now. And I think it's really cute and pretty. And I like the colors on of the inside covers and just like the theme of it. So to the moon and back, I love it. <laughs> then we have this one which has a little panda on it and it says spread the love and it's the same type of journal as the other one it's from michael's and yeah not much to say about it i just got it because i needed some new books to write in and then i ended up accumulating a bunch of them next we have this journal which is from walmart and it is glossy and polka dotted and i love journals this big I had one um, back in 2017 and I absolutely loved it it was great and I felt like I could put whatever I wanted I could put like a full-size 4 by 6 photo and you'd have like an entire page to write I just really liked that um, it did start falling apart a little but I still really loved it I don't know I loved it and I love this one uh, I can't wait to use it. This is from my old neighbors. They moved and we go to visit them uh, occasionally. So yeah, that's this. Um, then my old neighbors, they spoil me. They were basically my grandparents when I was a kid um, because they lived just around the corner. And so they spoiled me to a bunch of journals from Barnes and Noble and they let me pick all of them. So. 
this is the first one I picked. It has sprinkles on it, and I've been really obsessed with, like, a uh, cute sprinkle party aesthetic lately. Um, I'm not so into it at the moment, but I'm sure that I will be again because that's just my personality. I flip-flop my interest all the time. So, I thought that this would be a very cute one, and it has little pockets on the inside, which is always convenient when it, the books come with pockets, and I don't know, just a cute little, kind of short journal. Then we have this one, which I actually, this one seems very, like, official to me. Uh, it says, God bless the woman with ambition, and I think that this is definitely going to be something that I'm going to use I don't know if I'm going to use it soon or if I'm going to wait until I graduate from college um, because right now I am doing a lot like trying to figure out my life um, so I may use this sometime soon but I may not uh, and wait until I, I'm out of college it has a little pocket here for pens or tape or whatever you want and it has magnets and it's basically the pages are pretty thin i'm not gonna lie to you but i don't know i think it's very nice it's like a little all-in-one package deal so i got that one from barnes and noble as well and then i got this one from barnes and noble too this says refresh and i usually try to stray away from books with this on it this like it's not a spring like this metal binding basically Give me a second. Sorry about that, guys. Um, sorry, I thought I heard something. And this house got broken into not too long ago, so it kind of freaked me out a bit. Sorry. Um, so this is a refresh book, and I try to stay away from this because it gets bent really easily, but I just liked how simple this was. And this. Where have I seen you before? I've been your cereal box, tea package, milk carton, newspaper, junk mail, discarded novel, pizza box, and magazine. I have found a new path as a 100% recycled sheet, gleaming white and fresh, ready to be used once again. Thanks for giving me new life. And I really liked that concept. So every single page in here <coughs> is recycled. <coughs> and uh, I think it's kind of cool to think that uh, I'm writing on a pizza box. So that's this one. Um, next and last. No, it's actually not last. Man, I left it in my room. I have a Raven, or not Raven, Gryffindor journal in my room but that's going to be my current my next current journal so i'll save that for when i show you guys my current journal later on but this you can see the ceiling fan is the next uh the last journal and once again it has this binding but i'm trying to get past it and it's holographic hi um and it has a pocket right here and the pages have a little space for the date and in the middle is this it will all work out and sometimes i really need to hear that um but yeah it's just a very nice cute journal so i hope that you guys <laughs> enjoyed this video because this took a little bit of carrying, if you couldn't tell. I had to carry quite a bit out here to film this. Ah! Um, I had to carry quite a bit of stuff. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like. Leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you like it in this channel enough, and uh, 
leave any suggestions you have down below and I'll make a video. Uh, so yeah, that's about it and I'll see you guys later.